Wall Street is looking at a lower open on Tuesday morning. The U.S. market was closed on Monday in celebration of Martin Luther King Jr. Day. After the holiday weekend, plenty of event risk is on tap. Earnings season Fed speeches and the presidential inauguration are awaited. Currency markets are in focus this morning as British Prime Minister Theresa May outlined uh, plans for the U.K.'s exit from the EU. Meanwhile, U.S. indices closed mixed last Friday to finish the week uh, despite lower, despite the Nasdaq reaching another all-time high. In terms of advancers and decliners, 59% of S&P 500 constituents traded higher on Friday. And in after hours trade, Noble Energy was in the spotlight. The company announced that it has agreed to acquire all of the outstanding common stock of Clayton Williams Energy for $2.7 billion in a stock and cash deal. Now, the company added Clayton Williams Energy shareholders will receive 2.7874 shares of Noble Energy common stock and $34.75 in cash for each share of common stock held. Moving on to General Motors, the company will announce plans to invest at least $1 billion across several U.S. factories. This is according to Dow Jones reports. In terms of earnings reports today, expect results out from Comerica United Health Group, Morgan Stanley, CSX, and United Continental. In terms of overseas markets, Asian markets are mixed today with the Nikkei off minus 1.5%, the Hang Seng gaining half a percent, and South Korea's Kospi gaining 0.4%. European indices are trading lower. And for the S&P 500 on an intraday basis, the bullish buy stands above 2262. Trading such analysts prefer long positions above that level with targets at 2268.50 and 2273 in extension. As for the Nasdaq, the bullish, uh, the bullish bias does remain on an intraday basis and caution is advised for the Dow Jones Industrial Average.